Brooke. Between Jenna's smelly marmite, Dad's noisy razor, and Coop's goopy, goppy old candy, I can't get anything done here. This is never gonna work. Whoever it is, can I move in with you? Okay. I thought you just wanted to be friends. Well, if I'd known it was you. Somebody left the door open. That might have been Jenna when she tore out of here to get her morning paper. Or it could have been my father when he went off on his shopping expedition extravaganza to look for Coop's favorite cereal. Or it could have been the little prince himself. He's learned how to open the door, you see, but he hasn't learned how to close it. My favorite theory is that a burglar came in here, he saw how crazy it was, and he tore out of here empty-handed. I love a woman that wakes up happy. Well, I hope you find one. I'll keep looking. Hey, I'm sorry, but nobody could be happy trying to work in this madhouse. So where are all these mad people? They're around. Drums. Do you, do you believe this? Drums. Frank had never let me have drums when I was growing up. Well, if it's so crazy, why are you trying to work here? Because I have nowhere else to go. Frank and Elaney's place was already overcrowded when I, before I got here, and... And the diner is just even crazier. And besides, they always put me to work. And until, until Jen and I find a space of our own, it's like here or it's the swings in the park. And my handwriting is a mess as it is. Got plenty of spaces folding. No, thanks. I bet they let Hack do it. You have drums when you were his age. Actually, when I was his age, I had Ringo Starr snowing at my birthday party. <laughs> well, I forgot who I was talking to. Is that all that's bothering you? What else could it be? Isn't this where you and Mallet used to live? Was there something that you wanted? No, I was just in the neighborhood. Thought I'd see how you were doing. I'm fine. I was fine until you said his name. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I am fine. I am doing fine and dandy. Now, don't, don't you have some place that you have to go off to do something that you do? No, actually, I don't. You think you can get off that easy? Jesse shouldn't be in jail. He would never hurt anyone. Jesse was out, and when he came back, he found Abigail lying on the floor. And he was trying to help her, and that's when Rick came in. Excuse me a minute, Michelle. Uh, excuse me, we're trying to get information on our friend Abigail Bloom. Uh, one minute. Hey, Emergency's gotta be okay. Waiting. Reba. Hey, Hi. how is your friend? I've been looking all over. Well, that's what we're trying to find out right now. Michelle Bauer, this is Cassie Lane. Cassie's working with Josh and Billy at Lewis Oil. Hi. Uh, Josh thought you'd like a change of clothes, so. Oh, so sweet. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, you really don't have to stay. Oh, that's okay. I'm so sorry about. Your friend, I can't imagine what kind of a human being would do that to someone. It wasn't who they think. Michelle knows the boy who's been arrested. So, is there any news? Nothing's changed. Miss Bloom is still unconscious. Well, I'd like to see her. I'm sorry. Dr. Bauer is with her, and she's only allowed family members. Well, then that would include me, because we're closer than any two sisters on Earth. face and want to hurt you. You must have fought them so hard. Abby, you've got to fight harder. And if you don't have enough strength to do it on your own, then I've got enough for both of us because I need you to come back to me. I'm planning on marrying you. 
Remember? And when you wake up, when you wake up, Abigail Bloom, I'm gonna let you pick the day. As long as it's not too far away. And if you don't mind, I'd like to have it at the house in the backyard, in the garden. Abby, the garden is just, it's so beautiful now. Do you remember the first time? Do you remember the first time you saw that garden? You said to me, you said, Rick, it's okay, but where are all the wildflowers? And you were right, you were. You were exactly right, because that's exactly what it needed. So I went ahead and I planted some seeds. Abby, I'm telling you, it's just crawling with morning glories and daisies and these wild roses. And it's, it's climbed up and over the garage wall and I just don't think it's gonna stop. It's like it's reaching for the sky. It's... I just wanna decorate it. So I wanna get married. Right there. Abby, if I never do anything in this life, I want to show you what real love is. Just please give me a chance to do that, Abby. Please. Okay, come on now, Abby. You know you can do this. You were the one who helped me get better when I was sick. You were the one. You made me believe that there was something to come back for. And there was, just like there is for you. So now, you have to do what we say now. You're in big trouble, Jesse. Yeah, well, I didn't hurt that girl. She was found in your garage. No, I found her in my garage after I got home from being up. Where were you? I just told you. Out. <sighs> I got home and I saw someone busting my door. But what'd you do then? Well. At first, I thought my father did it. He drinks a little bit and gets kind of rowdy sometimes. Well, was it him? No, I don't think so. I walked into my apartment pretty carefully, and I didn't know what I was going to find. Well, was anybody else there? Well, at first, I didn't even think Abigail was in there. The place was such a mess, I was just trying to fix everything up, and then I saw her foot. I revealed her body, and man, she was beat up. Either she fell on her head or someone beat her up really bad. Uh, she was a pretty girl, too, man. She's a nice girl. Did you know her? She's a friend. I don't know who could do something like that. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. So you're going to go after me because I have a record for uh, finding stolen bike parts? We're going after you because she was found in your garage and you were found standing over her when Rick Bauer got there. Well, I was just trying to help. Look, I don't know why I'm trying to believe you here, okay? Maybe it's because you remind me a lot of me when I was your age, or before I got smarter. But let me tell you something. You better be careful here, because you're not going to find yourself on the other side of these bars for about 30 or 40 years. I catch you, Drew. Well, good. Because right now, I'd really start thinking real hard on who else may have done this and where you were at that exact same time. I already told you, I don't know. Well, Jesse, you know what? When you get your memory back, you can call me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. The girl that got hurt, Abby, what's her story? She's still unconscious, and I'm going to go see her right now at the hospital. If you see uh, Michelle Bauer, could you tell her that, uh... Michelle Bauer? Tell her what? Tell her that, uh... You know what? Just forget it, man.
Abby may have been raped. No, no, Rick. They don't know anything yet. Dr. Sedgwick doesn't want to examine her in her present condition, so... No. Not Abby. It shouldn't happen to anyone, but not Abby. I'm gonna kill him. If he did this to her, I'm gonna kill him. I'm telling you, Jesse couldn't have done something like this. I'm sorry, this has nothing to do with you. Well, I came here to see if Reva needed to talk, but you seem like you need to talk even more. I wish my brother would let me talk to him. You know, your brother's probably just really worried right now. I know. I know, I know. I'm not mad at him. I just wish that he could see that Jesse couldn't have done this. Well, you know what they say. Things usually turn out the way they're supposed to. Is that a nice way of saying you don't believe me either? I hope you're right about this guy. I'm just saying that I know what it's like to be wrong about someone you believe. I'm not wrong about Jesse. He didn't hurt Abby. And I'm not just saying that because I have feelings for him. I know it for a fact because I was with him last night. Rick, how is she? You were with him last night. You were with him last night. Yeah, at the lighthouse. He wasn't even home when she was attacked. You know, you'd say anything to save his neck, even with Abby fighting for her life. Rick, no. Michelle, I don't want to ever hear that kid's name mentioned again. Harley, you just found out that Mallet is divorcing you and moving in with another woman and keeping your doll. Now you're trying to live in the same house in which you lived with him? Now, what, what made you think that that would work? I'm fine living oh, here. Oh, I can see. You look fine. You seem fine I'm and dandy. Fine! Everything is annoying you. What do you want me to do? You want me to tell a snappy joke? Oh, you want me to be really? just overwhelmingly happy? I can't mm -hmm. do that, but I'm fine. I yeah. think I look fine. Oh, I didn't ask you how you looked. I asked you how you feel. Something you seem to have trouble answering. Hey, look at it. What's the one? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing? Your daughter has allergies. Allergies. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of sniffles because the, the air conditioning in the diner was just too high. I told you it that. It didn't sound like you were talking about allergies to me. <laughs> As if you'd know, Buzz. What, what is that supposed to be? Oh, just that you sometimes have instincts of a tree toad. That's all, darling. I, I know when my daughter's not telling me something. Well, you're wrong. It's not that I'm just, I'm not in a very good mood today and I'm taking it out on Philip. That's all it is. Tree toad. You know, you've been cranky ever since I got those flowers from my secret admirer. You know, I really don't care about your special flowers. I'm glad that those posies made you happy. So you really have got it all wrong. I don't feel threatened in the least. Well, then you won't mind if I go visit them back at the diner. I mean, maybe even bring them home. Be my guest. Hope they're still alive. Oh, no. They're still alive? My secret admirer wouldn't give me flowers that drooped. Fine, darling. I can't wait for you to bring them home. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to tell Harley what I've been doing all morning. Thank you. I've found... I've found you a place to live and a place for us to work. We don't have the money for two places. Oh, you see, that's the beauty of it. It's two in one. It's a furnished studio apartment on the corner of 10th and Elm. It's wonderful. You can use it as your apartment, obviously your home, and then you and I can work there during the day. What do you think? Hey, that I don't think perfect. so. Uh, I'm just gonna have to say no, Jenna. I'm sorry. Well, why? I mean, here, Buzz and Cooper are always interrupting us. It's quite impossible to work here. <laughs> Not at all. I think this place is homey. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say no. No, it's not possible. Well, why don't you at least look at it? Why? It's going to be a waste of my valuable time. Well, I don't see how you could say that, but all right. I mean, it's really an answer to our situation. Now, the landlord, she, she, she's a little bit, you know, eccentric. But really, there's only one restriction. That is, you can't have dogs. But then again, you I don't said have no dogs. thanks. Fine. I'll call her later. Fine. Fine. Excuse me, the natives are restless again. It's not the only ones. Are you going to throw this? <sighs> homey? All of a sudden, the madhouse is homey? This is none of your business. I'm making it my business. That's what friends do. Or aren't we friends? 
Are we not friends? I didn't say that. See, because friends tell each other the truth. Why don't you want the apartment? Because. Because what? Because... I am at a point in my life where I should not be living in a furnished studio apartment. I should have my own house. I should be married. Maybe pregnant. With a yard. A tomato patch. And my own dog. Oh, the dog. It's the dog. No. It's the dog. Scratch that. I take that back. Lola was a traitor. Lola pretended that she was my one and only, that I was her one and only, but now she goes and trades me in for a brand new model, almost as fast as Malik did. I'll be happy if I never see another dog again. Maybe I'll just go take a look at that apartment. I mean, Jenna did go through all that trouble to try to find it. At least we know I'll get along with the landlord since she doesn't like dogs either. I don't know what the big deal is about them. They're just dumb animals. It's not even like they know what love is. Isn't there something that you have to do? <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, there is. I'll see you. Yeah, he must be a wreck, but I can't leave here with Abby like this. Well, I can go down there and check on him for you if you want. You do that? Look, Jesse has a heavy-duty chip on his shoulder, but he wouldn't do something like that. I'm scared, Marcus. I'll go down, I'll check on him, and I'll call you when I know how he's doing, okay? Thank you. Okay, sure. Bye. Bye. Hey, James, right? Hey. Listen, why don't we take it, uh, four bars? Later, right, I gotta take but... care of something right now. This isn't good, Marcus. I can't wait, I'm sorry, it's for a friend. Well, what, what is it? Who... I'll fill you in, okay? Cool, I guess I'll just work with Dahlia then. Okay, I won't be long. Hope not. All right. I can't stand this. I know it's rough. Hey, look, just give your brother some time. Once he knows that Abigail's out of the woods, he'll be able to think even straighter. Is there something else going on with Abigail that no one's telling me? Dr. Bauer, what is you'd it? better hurry. It's Abby. We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. You were praying, huh? Do you know that that is the best thing you can do when you feel like you've lost everything? You don't understand. Michelle, even though we may not have gone through the exact same thing as you, it still doesn't mean that we're not afraid. I can't tell you how many times I blame myself for things that hurt the people I love. So do I. Look, I am sure that your brother did not mean what he said. I mean, that's what people do in the heat of anger. They just kind of say things, and then they wish they hadn't. My mother told me that. Yeah. Well, your mother was right. You know, when we're upset, we lash out at the people we care about the most. Yeah, I mean, that's what families do. It's kind of like a safety valve. You know, you protect each other so that you don't take your frustrations out on other people or the rest of the world. Look, I know you guys are trying to make me feel better, but was, Rick was right. If I hadn't lied to him about Jesse, no one would be in this mess. All the people I love wouldn't be in this mess. Ladies. Have you seen Jesse? I just came from the jail, Michelle. He didn't do it, Frank. Look, that's what he says. Well, do you believe him? It doesn't matter what I believe, all right? I mean, if this guy doesn't start trying to help himself out, no one else is going Does to. Does it look bad for him? It's worse than bad. We have Abigail in here trying to fight for her life, and Jesse is the only suspect that we've got. Look, Marcus, nobody's gonna believe me no matter what I say. Did you tell them that you were with Michelle when Abby got hurt? Her brother's not gonna go for that, man. He wants me strung up. Look, I can't find my dad right now. He's out of town. You really need a good lawyer, man. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference who my lawyer is. 
What, what's that supposed to mean? You're gonna lay down and take this, even though you know you're innocent? Look, I've been here, okay? Let me tell you something. This is not the way to handle this. Your attitude will keep you in here much longer. Let me tell if you If I were you, I would tell the cops about those two slime balls you used to hang out with. Yeah, well, what about them? What about them? They said that they weren't finished with you, that they were coming back. Ten to one, they were probably trashing your place, and Abby walked in on them, right? Uh, could be. It could be. Well, yeah, it could be. So why don't you go and tell the cops who they are? No, man, they're bad dudes. They could go after Michelle, man. I would rather rot in here than have that happen. She opened her eyes. And called out your name. Are you sure? Positive. All right, fine. I, look, no, look, I, okay, fine. I just want to be by, by myself with her. Okay, thanks. I knew you'd want to wake up and see what's going on. So don't go back to sleep. Abby, I, I, I know you can't hear my voice, but you know how to listen so many other ways, so please try. There's so much I have to tell you. Abby, please wake up. Please wake up for me. God, please. about to find out never should have trusted her just how messy things can get who the hell does she think she has taken off with my son when you've got a wife i'm scared to death that i'll never see my boy again who plays oh so dirty on the young and the restless uh, I, I like marcus's arrangement better well i think mine has more style his has more heart uh, but you know what? It's his song. Why don't we let him deal with it? We won't worry about okay, it. Okay, cool. At least we both agree that it's, it's what's behind the words, behind the words, that is most important. Of course. Let me yeah. tell you a little story. I knew this woman that once, uh, she would use nursery rhymes to, uh, to, to warm up as exercises. She would take something like, uh, Mary had a little lamb, a row, row, row your boat. Hmm. And she would sing this song like she was seducing you. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, you wouldn't believe how these innocent little words would just, you know, flow off her tongue. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. She used to say that she would use uh, people that she knew, places she had gone, anything in her past that, that had gotten her hot, that, uh, that would get her juices flowing. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm sure you got something, you know, that you can use to get your juices flowing. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's something in my life now that could do that. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> row, row, row your bone gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. But a dream. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. You know, you've been here a while. You don't have to stay. You're welcome to go back to work. Oh, that's okay. I don't think Josh or Billy will mind me keeping you company. Yeah, I guess maybe they wouldn't. I just hate oh, the gosh, way. I... <laughs> <laughs> you first. Oh, I was just going to say that I am not good at waiting for anything. Mm. <laughs> me neither. My mommy used to tell me that on December 26th, I couldn't wait to ask her when Christmas was going to roll around. <laughs> God, that sounds just like me. <sighs> yeah, this is a really nice hospital. Yes, it is. I have spent many long nights here. As a patient? I never really minded that. It's when your kids are here that's the hard part. My son nearly died last year. 
Shane? Yeah. Oh, you remembered his name. Oh, gosh, he's such a cutie. Yeah. He was in a pretty bad accident, and we almost lost him. I can remember sitting right about here and watching them roll him into surgery and thinking, if I lost my baby boy, they might as well just shoot me right then and there. Oh, my God. I know exactly how you feel. No, you don't. I mean, I'm glad you don't, but you couldn't unless you had kids of your own. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But you know, um... I do. Here, let me hold it. What? My friend has a little girl, and, uh... I'm very close with her. Oh. Oh, she's beautiful. How old is she? Six and a half. Oh. And as bright as a new penny. <laughs> and what's her name? Tammy. Tammy. She's something else. She looks smart. She is much smarter than her mother. <laughs> when can I go home? Uh, not, not quite yet. There's a few other tests that we have to run. A what? A few other tests that we have to run. What tests? What? Um, Abby, just... Just a few tests, and they want to run, you know, it's just formalities, things like that. Why? Well, Frank Cooper, see, he wants to talk to you. He wants to ask you some questions. About what? About what happened. And I, I just thought it might be easier to talk to me first about it. Um, um, what is it? You're confusing me. I'm, you're not making I'm any sorry. sense. I know I'm not making any sense. I'm sorry. Um, let me try again. Okay. Abby, do you, do you remember going to Point Lester last night? Do you remember going to Jesse Blue's garage? Yes. I'm sorry I didn't tell you where I was going. Oh, honey, don't I worry really about am. that. That doesn't matter now. It just doesn't matter. Okay. Do you remember? Do you, do you remember what happened when you got to his garage? Do you remember what happened? I remember coming to the door of the garage and I don't remember anything after that. Dad, tiptoeing is like the worst possible thing you could do. I was just trying to respect your need to concentrate. Well, it's not working. What is eating me? I am eating me. I'm so tired of feeling this way. I don't want to resent my little brother. I don't want to flinch every time I see you and Jenna making out. I don't want to drive away the only person who's capable of putting up with me right now. We're really talking about Philip here, aren't we? Whoever. You know, that guy reminds me of, he reminds me of his Aunt Alex. You know, he's got the name, he's got power, he's got money, but he doesn't let it go to his head. That guy's not half bad. Well, I'm glad that you like him, but unless he's a total masochist, I don't think you'll be seeing him around here very often anymore. You might try being a little nicer to him. I'll be nice to my Prince Charming, if he ever shows up. In the meantime, my friends can put up with me as I am, like it or not. Your call. Where's Jenna? Oh, she's uh, running errands, and she's going to stop by the diner and say hello to Aunt Lanny. Well, I was thinking I might um, look at that apartment that she found. Harley! I'm sorry if it bothers you when you see me and Jenna making out. No, it's not that bad. And I'm happy for you. Well, thank you. You know, you never know how things are going to end up. I mean, if somebody told me a year ago that me and Jenna ended up together, I'd say they're crazy. What are you trying to say? This stranger things have happened to you and Mallet getting back together. Is that, is that what you think is bothering me? Honey, you love them. Dad, it's not going to happen. <laughs> He took care of that. It's not gonna happen. Didn't I tell you what happened? What? 
Well, Matt called the other day, and um, we agreed that we would go ahead with the divorce proceedings. Um, he he's going to be moving in with his uh, bimbo, and it doesn't look right if he's married. Like I care. I mean. It's, I'm actually taking this really well. I think I'm handling it so well. I am. You don't, you don't have to... No, because think about it. This is perfect. I'm sitting here complaining about the state of my life, and um, he's handling... He's handling his, and, I, and, and I'm getting the perfect opportunity to, to start my own in a new way. All I have to do is find that number that Jenna wrote down for where the landlady is. I might go over there right now, actually, when I think about it. I could stop and I could pick up some dishes. Because, you know, I mean, they say it's furnished, but you really do need your own dishes for something like that. Don't, Dad? Don't push me away. I'm not six years old. I don't need anybody. I wasn't there when you were six. I am now. She opened her eyes. <clears throat> Did she say anything? Did she say anything at all about what happened to her? There's something you're not telling me about Abby. I want to know what not it is. Not now, Michelle. Uh, we're just talking about Abby's injuries, Michelle. She's awake now. Can I see her? We'll go in together. This isn't your fault. This isn't How can you say that? You wouldn't have gone down there if you weren't trying to help me. Okay, Michelle. I have to ask you. Michelle, that, that's 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 enough. I think it's but I just to wanted leave. Michelle. To... Michelle, she doesn't remember anything, so don't ask her anything about Jesse. Okay? I just wanted to ask her if she could ever forgive me. Michelle, that's okay. I'll go after. Okay. What's going on between you and Michelle? Abby, I can't talk about it right now. Please, Rick. What do you think has happened to me? Here you go. Guaranteed to cure everything from a broken toe to a broken heart. I thought that was supposed to be tea. Hmm? I thought it was chicken soup. You're both wrong. It's, it's, that's... Buzz Cooper's one-of-a-kind, genuine, New York egg cream. <laughs> That's good. And if you're a good girl, I'll make you one, too. Oh, you mm. wrong. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey. I thought you were working. Um, I had something I had to do first. Can you come outside for a second? Jen and I are really no, busy sure, working. Yes, right you can. Busy. You just give him a sip of the egg cream. I'll be right back. <coughs> diner mail? Yeah, Elaine gave it to me. I haven't had a chance to go through There's it. There's magazines. I'm telling no, you. No, there are that, no magazines well, in that, here. That, that, that's yeah. perfume ad. Yeah, it's this one. It's addressed to you. Who's it from? I don't know. I'm not going to open your personal mail. Well, let's see about it. Oh, very funny. It's from you. No, it's not even my perfume. What? I think of you so often, it's from you. For the last time, Buzz, it's not from me. So who's it from? The person that sent the flowers? Well, I'd say that's a pretty good guess. Well, you know, forget about it. Like you said before, who cares? You know what? I've changed my mind. I do care, and I don't like it. Because you're jealous or because you think it's creepy? You know, it doesn't matter which way. When I find out who the secret admirer is of yours, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Okay, my eyes are closed. Oh, it was so important you had to drag me out here. His name's Harvey. Although I don't think he'll mind if you want to change it to something else. He answers to pretty much anything. Scout. Here, boy. Hey, dog. <laughs> I got him at the pound. He's had a pretty rough time. His loser family. 
got a new puppy. So they just dumped him. Traded you in on a newer model, didn't they, bud? You like him? <laughs> He's perfect. I love him. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm, I'm going to have to cancel on those dinner plans that we had. Why not? You got a date? D no, I, uh, I just got, I got too much work to do. Um, you know, Sugar, I don't want to have to tell Daddy you're being mean to me. Listen, you can tell Daddy anything you want, okay? But, but I don't have time for this mess. You have plenty of time for her. <laughs> Whatever, Drew. Maybe you just don't know you've got a thing for her yet. This is getting far too old for me, okay? <sighs> Dahlia, we need to work on your movement, Miss Thing. Well, I'm a singer. No, you're a performer, okay? And these are things that performers need to know how to do. Okay. Now relax, all right? Work with me. Listen to the music. I feel it in your butt. Take a step touch, all right? It's not what you do, but it's how you do it. With style. Yeah. You got it. Loosen up just a little bit. Come on, don't be tight. Just relax. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 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 All right, slow down. Yeah. Yeah, relax all in here. This is what you sing, right? It all comes from here. Relax it. Uh. Okay. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perform, girl. Perform. Seriously, Jesse, you need to rethink this. Well, about Ski and Roy, man, I can't rat him out. Not until I'm out of here so I can protect Michelle. Newsflash, you're not gonna get out of here until you start talking. That's the bottom line. Do me a favor. Call your pop for me again. Yeah, I'll get a hold of him if I can, but you really need to start to think about yourself right now. Ah, don't worry about me, man. I'll take care of me. I just gotta do it my way. <sighs> All right, good luck. One more thing. Until I'm out of here, will you keep an eye on Michelle for me? You got it. Thanks, man. Take it easy. I will. All right. I don't need anyone to hold my hand. Is that a hint for me to leave you alone? I guess. I, I don't want to talk anymore. Well, if you're sure, then I'll go back to work. Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks, Cassie. You're a nice person. I'm not as nice as you think I am. There's something you are not telling me, and I want to know what it is. Maybe I just... I can't. <clears throat> Sweetie pie. Yes. What Rick is trying to say to you is that we need to know more about your beating. I don't understand. You might have been raped. Guiding Light. Footwear provided by Coach.